NCRT Solutions Chapter Number Four Quadratic Equations Exercise Four Point Three Problem Number Eleven The problem is sum of the areas of two squares is four sixty eight meter square. If the difference of their perimeters is twenty four meters, find the sides of the two squares. So let's go to solution. We can start from let perimeter. of first square equal to x meters and let perimeter sorry of second square equal to x plus 24 meters. I have supposed it equal to x plus 24 meters because it's given to us that the difference of the perimeters is 24 meters. So we can consider perimeter of first square equal to x and perimeter of other square equal to x plus 24 because the difference between x plus 24 and x is 24 meters. Now if we are given the perimeter of any square we can find its side. We know that the perimeter of square is equal to 4 times side. So now it's given to us that perimeter of first square is equal to x meters. So side of first square would be equal to x divided by 4 meters. Similarly side of second square would be equal to x plus 24 divided by 4 meters because we know that the perimeter of second square is x plus 24 meters so to find its side we just need to divide it by 4 because perimeter of square is equal to 4 times its side so now we have sides of both of the squares so from sides we can find areas. So area of first square is equal to we know that the that the area of square is equal to side times side. So area of first square would be equal to x divided by four times x divided by four. It's equal to x square divided by sixteen meter square. So that's the area of first square. Similarly, area of second square would be equal to its side times side here the side the length of side of second square is x plus 24 divided by 4 times x plus 24 divided by 4 and it's equal to so bracket x plus 24 square divided by 16 meter square now it's given to us that sum of the areas of two squares is 468 so we according to the given condition we can write that sum of this plus this sum of the area of first square and second square is equal to we can write that x squared divided by 16 plus x plus 24 square divided by 16 it's given to us equal to 468 here so according to the given condition we can write this condition now we need to make a quadratic equation from this and we will solve it and the solution of uh, that quadratic equation will give us the value of x and that x would be the perimeter of first square so here we can write x squared divided by 16 as it is and I can open this square to make square term is equal to x squared plus 576 x 576 plus 48x divided by 16 equal to 468 as it is. Now on the left hand side I can take 16 as LCM and here I get x squared plus x squared plus 576 plus 48x equal to 468 divided by 1. Now I can cross multiply both of these. 
So here x square plus x square is 2 x squared. Okay, let's do cross multiplication multiplication in the next step. Here I can add this x square and x square. I get 2x squared plus 48x as it is here from here and 576 divided by 16 equal to 468 divided by 1. Now I can cross multiply here. So on the left hand side I, I get 2x squared plus 48x plus 576 and on the right hand side I get I get 16 times 468. So on the right hand side I will get 16 times 468 and it's equal to 7488 if you check it. Now I can bring this term to the left hand side. And this will be equal to 0. Now if I further simplify these, I can subtract 7488 from 576. I'll get minus 6912 on the left hand side and it will be equal to 0. Now I can further divide both of the sides both of the sides by 2. I divide both both the sides left hand side and right hand side by 2 to further simplify the equation. I get x squared plus 24x minus 3456 equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation and we need to solve it. And if we solve it We'll get value of x and that x would be equal to perimeter of first square. Now let's suppose that we want to solve it by applying quadratic formula. And in order to solve any given quadratic equation by using quadratic formula, we compare the equation with general form of quadratic equation. This is general form of quadratic equation. So if we compare both of these, we get a equal to 1, because it's 1 here, b equal to 24 and c equal to minus 3, 4, 5, 6. And quadratic formula is x equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Now I just need to put values of a, b and c. Minus b it's 24 minus 24 plus minus square root of 24 square minus 4 times a is 1 times c. c is minus 3, 4, 5, 6 divided by 2a. 2 times a. a is the value of a is 1. So it will be 2 times 1 here. So I get here minus 24 plus minus square root of 24 square is 576 and minus 4 times 3, 4, 5, 6 is equal to 1, 3, 8, Two, four. If you check it, and it is equal and divided by two in the numerator, and I get minus twenty four here plus minus and five seventy six plus one three eight two four is equal to one four four zero zero divided by two here. Now square root of one four four zero zero is one twenty divided by two here. So I get x equal to minus 24 plus minus 120 divided by 2. So in order to solve for x, I will have to consider positive sign in the first case and negative sign in the second case. So x is equal to minus 24 plus 120 divided by 2. Also x is equal to minus 24 minus 120 divided by 2. And here we get 96 divided by 2 equal to 48. And here x is equal to minus uh, 120 minus 24 is equal to minus 144 divided by 2 equal to minus 72. Here x com is coming out negative but we need to discard this value. Why we discard it? Because it's in negative and perimeter cannot be in negative. So we just consider this value. So x is equal to 48 meters. So perimeter of first square is equal to 48. So perimeter of first square is equal to 48 meters and perimeter of second square 
which was post equal to x plus 24 is equal to 48 plus 24 and it's equal to 8 plus 4 is 12 it's equal to 72 meters so now we have parameters of both the squares from parameters we can find sides of both of the squares so side of first square is equal to 48 divided by 4 is equal to 12 meters and side of second square is equal to 72 divided by 4 and it's equal to 1 8 18 meters so side of first square is 12 meters and side of second square is equal to 18 meters and this is the solution of problem number Eleven. So, in the next video, I'll be covering chapter number four, quadratic equations, exercise four point three, question number eleven. Question uh, four point exercise four point four, problem number one. Sorry. See you guys.